Okay, Mr. Mavingo, we thank you very much for coming to the interview. Kindly um, uh, update us on why exactly you have uh, stormed your way through to the movie TV offices. I would like to address the nation and state that the, the allegation that the police spokesperson, is it Ray Hamonga, has stated that the President Kasonde Mwenda is on the run is false. And would like to consider that as just malice and slander, which is used by the current government to suppress a political party that is about to form government in 2026. And would like to also thank the opposition political parties who have uh, lent a helping hand in terms of our freedom fighters who have been uh, caged up at Lusaka Central Police Station. But as far as we are concerned, we have already uh, gone at an advanced stage of releasing them tomorrow by 11 hours tomorrow. Yes, I uh, would like to appreciate that. And would also like to urge President Hagainde Chilema to be more diplomatic, as he knows that Zambia is the beacon of peace and the beacon of uh, hope for the upcoming generations in regards to the uh, democracy. Now, as the summit is about to approach on the 29th, I don't know what you'll be able to tell the delegates who are going to come, because as far as we're concerned, he's acting like a lukewarm dictator, not even a snake at all, because as EFF will not be afraid of him, because he's our father, we are the one who put him there, and we're never going to be afraid of him. And even if he arrests almost everyone in EFF, EFF too has got a lot of Kasonde Mwendas. So he will not stop us. And the dispute to say that our president ran away is false. As far as we are concerned, Kasonde Mwenda was with our vice president, who uh, right now I'm just from seeing at uh, Lusaka Central Prison with uh, comrades Ibrahim and from the other political parties. Uh, they're all doing fine, and they'll be released tomorrow around 11 hours. And I would like to tell President Haga Inde Shilema to please put his head up straight. How can you give a tender to a company with no financial backbone, which you want our children to be paying for the next 22 years? That's very uncalled for and very unpatriotic of being a Zambian. So would that like to urge President Haga Inde Shilema to please put his books in order? Because as far as we're concerned, he's only left with two years. Within the same two years which are coming, we are the ones who put you there. And we acknowledge the ZFF that we are the ones who put you in power. That's why you have not even appointed Molly Teta or Trevor Mwind or any of these, because they're not there. You, Haga Hinde, you go and ask uh, Doreen Mwamba. You go and ask Chipoya. Go and ask uh, Brilliant Habenzu. You go and ask uh, all these UPND guys and Garin Kombo. Who put you in that office? It was the EFF. That's why even Paul Monga even had to find us because of our, our, our sweat. And today you are victimizing my president and the youths who their parents are busy crying every day and every night because you have put them for 24 hours and yet we are celebrating Youth Day. President HH, we are warning you, please put this country in order. We respect you as a father, but do not take us for granted. Because we, can, we did a uh, diplomatic way of seeking a permit to simply demonstrate and take out our grievances in terms of the rotten deal that you have given the Zambian people. And for that, you arrest our leaders. We dispute that, and it should never happen again. Should you do that, we'll be forced to do otherwise and go into the bush, which we do not want. We are diplomats, and we're a democratic state, and the tenets of democracy should be upheld in this country. So we urge you, President Haga Inde Chilema, for the immediate release tomorrow, as far as I'm concerned, by 11 hours, our comrades should be released, failure to which there will be consequences. I thank you. Uh, just before you go, uh, what have been some of the efforts you have put up uh, over this time from, the, from, from when police, uh, as you are saying, had apprehended your president? What are the efforts you have made so far to look for him? Uh, our president, unfortunately, the whereabouts of our presidents are known. As far as we are concerned as EFF, our president was together with our vice president, who is in central police station, but the whereabouts of our president are known. Whether our president has been abducted, we do not know. Whether our president was swept away by security personnel for EFF, for security reasons, we do not know. But in case he was whisked away, we will definitely be able to unveil the president anytime soon, coming this coming week. We just want the weekend to pass through. President Kasonde Mwenda will be there and answer our table. Because as far as we are concerned, President uh, Kasonde Mwenda did not commit any criminal offense. It's a civil matter, which was just a simple uh, protest and peaceful uh, demonstration. Now, I would like to ask President Haga Hinde Chilem, between us, the freedom fighters who put you there in office, and those that were marching for gay rights and lesbians, you had to even give them a security personnel to escort them. 
and yet our own leaders in this country have been arrested for simply just uh, telling you the truth and saying we are not uh, accustomed to that rotten deal that you're giving the Zambian people. President HH, so what you're trying to prove to the whole world is that Zambia has become a country of gays. And we, the indigenous Zambian people, the youths of this country, are criminals to you because now you're putting us in cells. Do you know how many families we have to fend for in those cells? Do you know how many youths are in those cells rotting? Do you know right now, as I'm speaking, I'm from Central Police Station, and our president, our vice president, is smuggled together with people who are criminals. If anything happens to any of those freedom fighters in there, their blood will be on your head, Mr. President. We challenge you to release them immediately tomorrow by 11 hours, failure to which you shall face the consequences of the EFF power. Uh, 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 sir, just before you go, and maybe just to be clear, uh, you were stopped yesterday from having your protest on the, um, on the, on the lines that uh, you did not uh, have a permit for you to go ahead and do so. Um, just give us more information about that. Thank you very much, ma'am. First and foremost, when one is about to demonstrate, you seek what is known as a permit, which we were granted. But in this acknowledgement, unfortunately, the police turned their back on us to state that we were supposed to tell them in regards to which road we were supposed to use. We are not privy to tell them exactly which road we were supposed to use. As far as we are concerned, we are supposed to just get a letter and take it to the DC to just show our displeasure in terms of the rotten deal that Haka Hinde Shilema was trying to do with his so-called Charles Mulu, who has been a dragon and a grasshopper from century to century, from government to government, in and out. Hasn't they eaten enough of our resources? First, they started selling our uh, mines. Now, the mines were not enough for them after privatization. Now they want to go into the roads. The next thing you hear is now they're selling our water. You hear the sword Victoria Force. These are the type of international economy that we have elected as leaders. Come on, President HH. We had so much trust in you. We thought you were the Moses of this country, but it seems like you're a fake Moses. You're a comprando, a neo poly, uh, what's this, a neo colonist puppet. And you should stop that. This country has you together in the sense that we believe in you. You have to change. You cannot be pleasing the West all the time. We are the indigenous Zambians and we need to indigenize everything about this country. Look at how many Zambians are suffering. Foreigners are the ones enjoying this country and yet we, the indigenous Zambians, are busy suffering because of these same so-called rotten deals. How can you honestly let foreigners come with no money? For 22 years, we, tax road users, we start paying them money for 22 years using our own money. Does it make sense to you, Mr. President? Even yourself, you didn't let that. It's like somebody wants to sell their house and you yourself use your own money and say here's the money you start paying me so we start pretending that's what we call white collar syndicate criminality mr president we do not want that please mr president put your house in order mr president yourself you know very well your son chipo when you were arrested i was the one who went and gave him comfort whilst i faced a lot of brutality from the pf regime but look at the same people that are helping you are the same people that you are victimizing today. Mr. President, tables 10. Today, it's us. Tomorrow, it will be you again. Now, don't forget that after preg uh, sorry, not after pregnancy, after presidency, there is always life after presidency. How are you going to face the Zambian people? How are you going to live with the so-called enemies you are making? Make peace. You promise the Zambian people that you will come here and unite the country. Is this the unity that you are trying to put? Okay. Please, Mr. President, we plead. And finally, you have uh, constantly expressed your displeasure at the deal of, of the Ndola Lusaka deal carriageway. Definitely. Oh, but you, as an opposition political party, obviously has to give your. Um, you don't just have to criticize, but you also have to give solutions. So, what would be your alternative to that deal? First and foremost, uh, the whole thing about that whole deal was rotten in the sense that, first and foremost, HH has got a tendency of single sourcing, okay? When I mean single sourcing, there's no tender bid that is done for the general public to see. At least if they can be able to be as honest and transparent as they can be, to simply be able to advertise such deals like that. There are Zambian 
contractors who definitely would want to get into such an arrangement like that. But why should it always be foreigners? That's my question, Mr. President. Why? Why can't you give that uh, tender to a Zambian or best you give it to Zambian National Service so that the money still circulates within? Right now, as we speak, everything is skyrocketing. Fuel prices have gone high. Millimum prices have gone high. The standard of living for the Zambian people is beyond their imagination. Zambians can barely even survive. Today I was visiting some of our freedom fighters. They're even saying, oh, acting president, <clears throat> we are glad that we're actually in the cells because we're even eating much more better than we were when we're out there. So in fact, Mr. President, if you want, keep on arresting us every day. We'll be going in the cells. In fact, you even arrested me on just a simple party which I had at my house. And I was meant to pay 180 kwacha just for me to get, come out of there. Honestly, Mr. President, are you trying to create a police state? No, no, no. no. So as movie, we'd just like to be clear. Uh, is your displeasure at the deal, that it is a 25-year deal, or that it is a foreign investor who has uh, been granted that deal and not a local investor? That's one of the reasons. But the major reason is, first and foremost, there was no tender uh, bid on that uh, deal. Secondly, there was no consultation with us, the Zambian people, because it is us, the Zambian people, who are supposed to be consulted. They cannot be acting as if they are the alpha and omegas of this country. No, they are our representatives, and we have every right to question them. But why should we be arrested? Okay. <clears throat> thank you very much, unless you would like uh, to add anything else. No, I would just like to thank all the opposition political parties that have uh, given us a hand in this struggle. The struggle continues. As EFF, we'd like to urge all our supporters and our foot soldiers that we have hope that refuses to die. And wherever we want to go, our fish shall take us there. Even if our president is nowhere to be seen, EFF continues. Viva! Aluta!